chrysanthemums, the fibers of this. Oh, and the image of passion is all in the tiger, okay? And there's the tiger. Fitzgerald uh, is the painter. Chrysanthemums, the fibers of this fire that molds itself to words, that takes their shape and fits the game where balanced on a wire, love sways as if life now were just its slave. Or maybe they are made of tiger's fur that hides volcanic flames behind its play to sink its fangs as it pretends to purr, to go away as it pretends to stay. But these are just hypotheses that veil with talk what you desire that's not for sale. A sudden clash of lips on flesh, on skin, the tracks, no more, of some forgotten tale of treasure that bewilders us and takes us in. So winning it, we only win chagrin. Esse poema trata esse soneto camoniano com algumas... Esse soneto camoniano com algumas variáveis do meu próprio... So he, 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 he is influenced by the famous Louis Camões yeah. uh, uh, and, and by Camões' sonnets, but of yeah. course he creates variations of his own on, on the form. Assim como este livro trata de uma questão complexa que é o que a gente deseja e o que a gente pode alcançar. But this book, of course, primarily is dealing with the gulf between what human being, what a person can desire yearn for and what we can actually reach. <laughs> what we reach is chagrin. <laughs> Quase sempre o desejo está, vai além da conquista. Obviously. <laughs> Obviamente. Um, so uh, practically always um, desire goes far beyond what one can actually... Um, I don't like that word conquista. I can, I'm getting... In, well, conquista is simply the Spanish word for to conquer, but you see it sounds so militaristic. <laughs> Um, achieve what you can achieve. That's the word. Vamos falar ibisco. Isso é que você. Vamos lá. Ibisco. Ibisco. Na verdade é isso, Tazi. É, Mas eu, eu, assim... eu achei que você queria três poemas índios. Foi três que nós precisamos. Ah, o índio. Mas não. É, nós não temos a cópia. É. É, o a gente às vezes a natureza como agora está florescendo na primavera. É... Esse poema surgiu disso, da observação das flores, da observação do movimento do vento é, no Jardim de Bispos. Então, agora estou vendo florescer aqui as flores de, de cereja. É isso, poeta? Sim, flores, flores de cereja. Então, a gente vê e às, às vezes nos dá como uma visão zen. Sometimes, just looking at nature gives you a zen vision, as, for instance, arriving here on this street with all the cherry trees yeah. in blossom. Mm -hmm. um, um, this poem actually is not about hibiscuses exactly, but a ra rather about a marvelous photograph yeah. of hibiscuses yeah. that he saw at an exhibition. Nos dá essa leveza é, da existência, essa leveza que a natureza nos oferta é, para nos, para trazermos para dentro de nós essas belezas. This lightness of nature that a vision can give us and can, that we can absorb into ourselves. Então a poesia pode ser uma poesia de combate, mas pode ser uma simples poesia de observação da, da beleza da natureza. So poetry can deal with a combat, with a confrontation, or with a struggle, but it can also be a simple observation of beauty in nature. O livro lá não dá, mas aqui está pronto. Do you understand? Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Dançam e vídeo sem uma fotografia. Dançam sem. Estou é... vendo cada vez mais difícil, hein? É... Dançam, os óculos estão ruins. E vistos na fotografia. Dançam sem. Me ajuda a ler isso. Listen, you know what? We're doing a reading tour. Yeah. We're going to be giving close to 20 readings. Dança. And when we go... Wait, listen, I'm talking to you. 
Cala a boca. Eu estou falando para você. And when he gets back to Rio, he's going to have a cataract operation. Oh. So in fact, this tour yeah. is, is enabling him to read okay, but at the moment he's having a hard time seeing. Escuta, estou falando do catarata. Dança e visco na fotografia dançam sem movimento absurdo, sem sua obra caligrafia, dançam. É... Por favor, leia, não estou conseguindo, a luz não está me dando. Leia para mim. You don't, have a, you don't have a stronger light, do you? Mm -hmm. Eu vou, eu vou how falar. About, how about an iPhone flashlight? É, os óculos não estão me ajudando. Dançam em discos na fotografia, dançam sem movimento, absortos em sua rubra caligrafia. Dançam a discos de sangue, dançam no, dançam no íris de cidade, dançam na clima, dançam na rima, dançam no óleo de fotografia, dançam no cromo do dia, dançam exóticos, dançam exatos, extasiados, no estático, dançam, dançam, dão-se, dão-se. As flores estão se dando para nós. The flowers are giving themselves to us. Fala dessa, desse, desse, dessa questão da, da, do trabalho da tradução aí. This translation also has a weakness in it. Ah, tá, muito obrigado. Ah, isso vai ajudar muito. This this translation has a weakness in it. Ah, we we're going to take this on our tour. Ah, 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 ah. É bom. É bom. É bom. É bom. Agora você pode descobrir a poesia de 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 São Carlos. Tá bom. É a luz do sol. Okay. The light of the sun. So listen, this poem "Ecstasy" is about a photograph that he felt showed the ecstasy of life. Um, it also led to a hilarious misreading because of the cataract. Um, it was just hilarious. This was at Swarthmore the other day. Um, and the poem says, They dance like lithograph of day. They dance exotic. They dance exact in ecstasy, static. Enough. And he's reading it in Portuguese. And he says in Portuguese, They dance like lithograph of day. They dance erotic. They dance exact. It was exotic. And he saw it as erotic. I thought that was hilarious. Um, yeah, it's good. We should rewrite the poem. Exactly. It made the poem better. Okay. So ecstasy. Hibiscus's dance in the photograph. They dance motionless, absorbed in their crimson calligraphy. Hibiscuses of blood. They dance, they dance in the eyes of the city. They dance these climbs, they dance these rhymes. They dance in the eye of the photograph. They dance live lithograph of day. They dance exotic, they dance exact, in ecstasy, statically. They dance, they dance, they give themselves to dance. Now, dancing means they give themselves. Dancing means they dance. Say it again. Dansom means they dance. Right. Dancy means they give themselves, as in love. You, you, or, or, or when an army surrenders. Dancy. And it sounds exactly the same. And in my translation, I stupidly uh, translated it correctly as they surrender, which doesn't sound like anything. The poem is based on the beauty of the repetition. Dansom, 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 dancy. They dance, they dance, they dance, they dance, they give themselves. And so now the poem ends, and I will write this in for anyone who wants to buy this book. They dance, they dance, they give themselves to dance. And that way the rhythm is maintained and the poem ends with the image and the word to dance. Antes de encerrarmos, vamos falar mais um poema do Palavra. Chama-se Palavra, pode buscar lá. E outro, outro, isso não é tu? Não, não, tá bom. Qual é a palavra? Palavra. Temos tempo para três poemas mais. Isso, tá bom. Tá bom. É, é o que eu vou fazer. Palavra. Palavra. Tá bom. Isso. Vamos lá. A palavra coexiste no dilúvio ao açoite do sangue nas pedras. A palavra é a pedra e o arquétipo que dança. E o tempo do fogo flama e a memória das águas lavra em canto e pleno ilume. 
A palavra lava o tempo, naja imaginária, submersa no invisível mar. Godiva do cais dos loucos, deusa do silêncio. A palavra em si é sil, virtude, advertir o vício de saber, saber. Agora você também precisa de luz, é? Eu não preciso de luz, mas essa é a primeira vez que nós já lemos esse poema, e, claro, ninguém me disse que nós íamos ler. Então... This poem is also called word, but it's not verbo in Portuguese. This time it's the usual daily word, palavra. The word coexists in the downpour with the beating of blood on stones. The word is the stone, the archetype that dances, and the time of fire flares and the memory of waters working the earth. A song, a full moon spell. The word works time, a serpentine mirage, submerged in an invisible sea. Godiva of the madmen's docks, <laughs> goddess of silences. The word itself, pure urge, virtue, playing with the vice of knowing what one knows. Interesting, mm. is the first one. Que você lê, não, você já lembra Nunca, nunca, né? Tá bem. Que mais? É um poema sobre a mãe. Tá bom. É. So, como aqui tem uma mãe que é, que é o centro desta casa aqui, uh -huh. a autoridade máxima desta noite. Uh, as we have in the midst of us a mother who is the center of the household and is seated here with us. Eu sou do, é região do Brasil, em que os filhos são muito devotados às suas mães. I come from a part of Brazil where children are very devoted to their mothers. <risos> é. Minha mãe era uma mulher muito rica como pessoa e embora não tivesse cultura formal nenhuma. My mother, though she had no formal culture whatsoever, was very rich as a human being in many ways. No sertão, na região em que, que vivíamos, não havia qualquer assistência para a saúde, médico, etc. Não, não havia mediação nas relações. In the backlands where we lived, uh, there were no doctors, nor were there any other social mediating factors. No hospitals, no schools, and no electricity, no running water, etc. Então minha mãe fazia, porque tinha muita vocação para medicina sem ter estudado, ela fazia o papel de médico. My mother had quite a vocation for medicine, though she never had studied anything at all. And so, in our region, she basically served as the doctor. Não eram incomuns as brigas de facas e, e, e as pessoas ficarem feridas gravemente. Where I'm from, it was not unusual to have people battling it out, especially Friday or Saturday night, um, with their uh, machetes, um, cutting each other open. You know, when you get angry at somebody, that's what men are supposed to do, cut each other open. Tem que ser um homem, you gotta be a man. E minha mãe os operava com agulha de costurar roupa. And my mom, with her seamstress's needle, just went to work sewing them up. After carefully replacing the viscera that were hanging out of these bodies, she'd place them back inside, put a little bit of um, a little agua, agua dente. You guys know the word cachaça? She'd put a little cachaça to make sure, you know, infections didn't develop. And then she'd get out her needle and just sew them up on the kitchen table in front of the little seven-year-old children. Então desejei. For whom it served as television. Nós <risos> é, assistimos assim, né? É, então eu desejei fazer um poema para ela, para evocar essa grandeza de espírito que ela tinha. I wanted to write a poem to commemorate the spirit, the greatness of my mother's spirit. É, é. E comecei um poema assim. Mate. De ti não há sequer um álbum de família, retratos da infância nos campos de arroz e gergelim. Talvez restem em pensamento pedaços de tua voz no vento, como impressões digitais no rio. 
Mas não deu tempo de terminar que ela apareceu. This was how I began yeah. the poem dedicated yeah. to my mother. Yeah. But within a couple of months she yeah. died. And I had not finished the poem. 15 anos depois eu lembrei do dia do enterro dela e terminei o poema. 15 years later I thought again about this poem <coughs> on the anniversary of her death and I finally finished the poem. <coughs> no dia em que o azul roubou teus olhos e o silêncio rival rasgou teu nome, cotovias cantaram no meu rastro, no dia em que amanhã cerrou teus olhos. Senti sua árvore da... senti sua flor da árvore desolada. Agora, o mar bate em minhas rochas e a noite ronda meus calcanhares. This is by far my favorite poem by Salgado. I believe it's his favorite poem as well. And I like to think it's not just because we both had perhaps an inordinate attachment to our mothers, which we share, um, uh, but uh, because I really think it is his best poem. Um, because it's his greatest loss. That's my reading. Eu acho que é o melhor poema que você escreveu porque é o maior perda. And on top of everything else, my mother, Salgado, they're both born on November 13th. So ever since my mom died, I've thought of Salgado as my mother. <laughs> Double. Mater. Oh, and it's in Latin because his mother, ah, let me talk about musica. Musica, the, the misa. The misa in Latin. Sim, porque minha mãe, minha mãe, é, na época da minha mãe, as músicas, é, é, as, as, as orações eram feitas em claro. latim. In the time of my mother, in my mother's time, yeah. uh, uh, when there was a mass, which came rarely because yeah. they were in the backwoods, uh, when there was a mass, it was always in Latin. And his mother, of course, didn't know Latin, but she loved the sound of it. Yeah. And so the beauty, the beauty of the music of the language accomplished a lot, even if she couldn't understand the so-called significant meaning of the words. Yeah. Yeah. And she loved Latin. Yes. Me too. Embora não soubesse, naturalmente, o que significa. Although, of course, she didn't know what the words meant. So I think, I think that's why he named this poem Mater instead of my, instead of mother. Ok, eu vou apresentar o poema? Sim. E eu dedico esse poema à mãe da casa. I dedicate this poem to the mother of the house. Mater. Of you, there's not even a family album. Photos of childhood in fields of rice and sesame. Maybe in my thoughts there linger fragments of your voice in the wind, like fingerprints on a river. On the day the blue stole your eyes and silence tore apart your name, skylarks started singing in my tracks. On the day the morning closed your eyes. Without you, I am the blossom on the tree, bereft. Now the sea beats against my rocks and the night prowls at my heels. Então, o entendimento que eu tenho é que os pais cronologicamente representam como se fosse os muros diante da morte. Totalmente. The way I see it, our parents function as a kind of a wall between us and death. Quando os pais se vão, aí a gente tem que dialogar com a fera. When our parents are gone, then we have to converse with. Ah, this should be a better word. Dialogar. Help me. Dialogar. Dialogar. Converse. We have to. Talk to. We have to talk to or, or confront ourselves. Yes. Death itself. Directly. Porque o mar vem violentamente. Não tem mais muro na frente. Bater no nosso. That's why I read the ending of it. Oh, excuse me. What he's saying is because now the sea beats against our rocks. The parents aren't there in between us and the sea. But he reads it. Omar bate em minhas rochas e a noite ronda meus calcanhares. And I read it. The sea beats against my rocks. And the night prowls at my heels. And that's a decision. That's a reading. The reader is part of a living poem that they're reading. In other words, I emphasize the my. He simply has it in the grammar, and you have to figure that out. 
Obrigado a vocês pela paciência de nos ouvir. Muito obrigado. Congratulations. And welcome. Thank you for obrigado aos, your, aos, your kindness and having aos que vieram nos ouvir. Obrigado, João Melo, meu, meu parceiro, yeah. amigo de Estrada, de, de palavras, sonho e palavras.